Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on December 17th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, looking at space weather, world weather and earthquakes. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on the sun as yes, a couple days ago I had forecasted these active regions to do something and sure enough over the last couple days B-class, C-class and 1M-class flare early this morning looking at one two three four active sunspots as well as some plasma filaments ripping around there the surface of the sun both the northwest quadrant and the southeast looking at a little earth to scale here incoming imagery and here's the last 48 hours outgoing you can see a small sunspot firing up there in the last few images as well, a large plasma filament erecting from the southeastern limb of the sun. Closer look at the active sunspot regions, producing the B-class, C-class, and M-class flare, not in an earth-facing direction. So we are not expecting too much except for the coronal hole wind stream. Another close look here at the large plasma filament that was probably about the height of 20 Earths. Amazing stuff. Looking at multi-spectrum, very active sunspot regions. All of the events the last 48 hours. And a pretty intense coronal hole just north of these sunspot regions. Wow. Definitely going to be seeing some space weather here the next 36 hours, at least from this corona hole and quite possibly some new solar flares keeping an eye on those sunspot regions here's a look at the iswa space prediction spiral as you can see not in an earth facing direction real-time solar winds we're sitting at about 367 kilometers per second slightly elevated from average solar x-ray flux back into the b-class range geomagnetic activity remains low also wanted to show you here, this is the last seven days, Alaska 2 image, looking at our sun from the 10th until the 17th today. And you'll be able to see in the last little image there, a comet heading from the bottom of the screen up. But here are the events from today, B-class, C-class, and one M-class flare right there. Look at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 33. Very healthy spike throughout the day today. Observing all the charts, a quality of 13.2, amplitude of 33. We'll have a quick look here at earthquakes for the last 24 hours as well. We're going to start out in the United States. With our largest that was reported across North American plate was the 4.4 towards the Riviera plate. El Jutusi, Mexico, Gulf of California, as well as Estacion, Coquila, or Co Coquila, Mexico. Gypsum, Kansas, Kansas still seeing a 3.3 and as well a 2.5 today. Notable earthquake here, Three Forks, Montana, 3.1, 10 kilometer depth. And that is just northwest of Yellowstone. Looking at USGS here, there are quite a few minor, acts, minor earthquakes actually, ranging from 0.8 to 3.1. Three Forks, this is where one major river departs into three major rivers heading south. And we know what rivers are. They are fault lines. Three Forks, Montana, very notable earthquake there. As well, a notable earthquake here, 3.6 in Ganges, Canada, 17 kilometer depth. That is Vancouver Island. No reports of any damages. Few people did feel it. Looking through the Aleutian Islands here, 4.4 Arat Islands, as well a 4.7 and a 4.5 Izu Islands, Japan, 4.9 here, one 
earthquake to report. No, that's not Savannah, right? Here we go. A Don Sol, Philippines, at a 10 kilometer depth, as well a 4.1 here. Latong, Philippines, 604 kilometer depth, deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. 4.6 here. Kokopo, Papua New Guinea. And then as well, largest earthquake the last 24 hours. Lavuka, Fiji, 5.7, 557 kilometer depth. So two very deep earthquakes today. Indonesia and as well, Fiji, 4.6 there. And Tonga, Kermadec Islands, seeing some minor activity as well up into a 5.0. So yeah, intense and stay aware and prepared, please, everybody. Having a look over Hawaii, many earthquakes today, and the largest reported was the 3.2, but it's just very interesting how they're pulsing in two spots on the southwest rift from the Kilauea volcano. Speaking of which, it did spew out some new lava here from the cone today. So observing an eruption from Kilauea. And you can see that cone grew quickly. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on this over the next little while. Active lava lake Kilauea. Carry on with the earthquakes here. Savannah Bight, Honduras, 4.9 earthquake. As well, south of Panama, reporting a 5.2 into the Cocos Plate. Caribbean plate, 3.6 there. Puerto Rico, and way too quiet here. South America, we know this. Normally, it is an active region. 4.7 here to report South Sandwich Islands, 97 kilometer depth. And Zakynthos, Greece, 4.4 reported, as well as 4.2 reported in Turkey, 10 kilometer depth into the Arabian plate here. And Somalia, 4.6. 4.7 here reported in Turpan, China, as well a 4.1 in Tajikistan, 175 kilometer depth. So pretty active 24-hour period for earthquakes. They're also reporting there at 4.7 south of Africa. Let's have a quick look. The last seven days, many elevated rings recently. And not enough large earthquakes to release the pressure. So I'm expecting something big and definitely South America into Central America. Quite possibly up into the Cascades. Stay aware and prepared, please. And much love for humanity. Let's have a quick look at the five-day forecast. Brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. We're going to be starting out in home base, Ontario, Canada where we have a snowstorm headed our way. That's right, tomorrow morning, probably during your morning commute, there will be at least five centimeters of snow falling through mostly southwestern Ontario and as far north as Ottawa. And then it's going to quickly shift eastward into the Atlantic provinces by Sunday. And then really cold temperatures behind and another snowstorm coming in the long range for Thursday, but mostly northern Ontario. That's a nice little Alberta clipper. Yet again, they keep sending them our way. Thank you very much, YYC. And overlooking the west, very cold. Temperatures have definitely set in across Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and it is moving eastward. It looks like it's going to linger around for the next five days in the minus double digits. So stay warm my West Coast friends, and Alberta. Also have two interesting systems here, coastal storms through the week. One's going to be coming out of the South Pacific, and one is coming out of the Alaska, out of north to Alaska. Looks like they may join forces by Thursday for a big system heading into Vancouver. And, I mean, they've like they haven't had enough rain and snow recently, we're looking at some pretty heavy snowfall with these storms. So stay aware and prepare to stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Overlooking the Atlantic. Long line of moisture here developing across the Atlantic Ocean right from Orlando, Florida to Spain, which is insane. But then watch here something notable as well. 
little golf system developing in the Gulf of Mexico. Looks like by Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to have some extreme weather through southeastern United States as this low pressure system develops and heads northeast. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge moves out of the region finally, allowing some moisture to come in and as well the cold winter storms. You've got a big low coming in from Norway and the low pressure system is finally leaving the Mediterranean here, but not after causing flash floods across Iraq, parts of Kuwait and as well heavy rains through Turkey. Overlooking Russia and Southeast Asia. Big story are the temperatures. Early, early polar vortex temperatures. Minus 44 in some regions without the wind chill. Some intense low pressure systems heading through Japan and up into Kamchatka this week. As well, we have Typhoon Rai, who just ravaged the Philippines overnight last night. Unfortunately, a lot of people lost their lives. This thing is going to carry on to Thailand and then up into Hong Kong for the long-range forecast. Looking across Malaysia, Indonesia, daily evaporation rains heavy at times, especially through Indonesia. Overlooking Australia, not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains, coastal regions and through the Northern Territory as well. Victoria is still experiencing two low pressure systems this week. We also have a possible cyclone that is developing here, heading towards New Zealand, Northern parts. Overlooking Hawaii, you've got a lot of rain and possibly high surf. With this high pressure ridge moving in on you in the long range forecast. Kids could see some interesting weather there continue. We'll carry on here to South America. And notable here is that low pressure system spinning around through Argentina. And is going to head up into Paraguay this week. Still looking at a five-day forecast, it being trapped into the mountains there towards Paraguay and Bolivia. Daily evaporation rains possibly heavy towards Brazil. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains as well. Quite a bit through Madagascar and coastal regions Mozambique and South Africa in the long range. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows spinning across our hemispheres. Much love to you all, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. And as well, thank you for all memberships, subscriptions, and super chats. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.